Without self-discipline, success is impossible. Yes, most of us know this. We wish that we could bring ourselves to do the things we know we need to do when we need to do them, whether we feel like it or not. And that's the very definition of self-discipline. It's the major key to really enjoying a happy life and choosing the life that you love to live. Studies also show that self-disciplined people are happier in general. So it's definitely a goal worthy of pursuit. We wish we could press the button and just be more disciplined, but we can't. But there are three major keys I want to share that will help you to build your self-discipline starting right now. The first thing is to know your why. It is such a major key. Why is it that you need to become more self-disciplined? Just who are you trying to be? Who do you want to be in this world? And why does it matter? This is a major key for building self-discipline. I just completed my first half marathon. And up to three days before the marathon, I kept, you know, the little voice kept telling me you don't have to do this don't bother to do this this is going to be too much work you don't know if you're going to finish etc but because i have written down my why i know very clearly who i want to be in this world what my goals are and what kind of person i need to be to get those goals i was able to overcome the little voice the temptation that is very human to take the easier route. I was able to overcome that because I'm very clear on who I'm trying to be. And the person that I'm trying to be does not quit, does not give up and keeps her work. See it as a skill that you must be committed to learn just as you would commit to learning any other skill that was essential for you at a point. So it is when you take this kind of growth mindset approach that you're not worrying about, oh, I wasn't born that way or I wish I was more like that person or, you know, you're not defining yourself as an indisciplined person. You are instead saying, hey, that's a skill. I can learn it. And that will, you know, deepen your commitment and ability. And it's only learned through execution and practice. That is how you build it. And then last but certainly not least is to start small and make a plan. If you are, you know, knowing that you need to get two hours more sleep a night, maybe start with getting 15 minutes more sleep um, and build on that. So you don't try to just say, well, I need to do two hours in one night. It's overwhelming. You might not succeed at it, which is going to just erode your sense of possibility and the discipline and the commitment to that goal. So just break it down and start small. That is how the change will stick. You develop that self-discipline. You develop that willpower. It is a muscle. It's a skill. And the more you work on it is the more of it you build.